Infinite Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share with you about why we should not hit the panic button. Yes, things look very scary in these last days. I realize that. I realize that if we were to listen to everything being said on the internet, on YouTube, on a lot of these different sites, there are people who are really afraid that America is going to be bombed. There are people who have had dreams of the country being split in two, of massive earthquakes, massive flooding, giant tsunamis, all kind of crazy explosions, gas underground gas explosions, all type of devastations and disasters. However, for those of you who are in Christ Jesus, and even for those of you who may not be, but who are of a very tender, compassionate, merciful heart, there is God. God makes the difference in this equation, not man. And if you are turning to him and seeking him as your refuge, God is our refuge, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be cast into the midst of the sea, though the sea roar and, and, and be troubled. I mean, it, I'm Psalms 46, I'm not quoting it correctly. Read Psalms 46. We have no need to fear. No need to fear. Yes, it's a scary time. America is in a very precarious position. Why? Because we have turned our back on God. We don't want God's name in public. What? We don't want God's standards in our lives. Come on. And we would rather have a, a Satan clubs, satanic clubs in schools rather than Bible study groups and Christian prayer groups because we don't allow prayer in school. Hello, where is this country headed? What is happening? But let me tell you, stay in God. Stay focused. Don't allow this world to contaminate or, or weaken your resolve in the things of God because God will protect those who cling to his commandments, who cling to his ways, who cling to him, who cling to his heart, to his standards. If you are ashamed of the gospel of Christ, God will be ashamed of you in heaven. Be very careful. Be very careful, America. Do not be ashamed of God. When Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me in this wicked and perverse generation, I will be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. Listen, America cannot afford to be ashamed of God. Not now. Not now. Listen to me when I say, please, turn back to God. The scripture says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if, this is God speaking to his people, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Think about it. Think about what your choice is. Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord.